Fort Defiance coach Dan Rolfe got his first taste of Shenandoah Valley football in 2009. Overall, the quality of football is excellent. And, uh, you know, we got to be on our A game every single game for us to be competitive. Fort got a lot more competitive in Rolfe's first season. He guided the Indians to four wins after they had won three the previous three years combined. And that's the hardest thing to convince young kids is that, hey, everybody is playing the same sport. And it's just a matter of determination, hard work, and all of that good stuff. And the wins will start coming your way. Now Rolf says the goal is another step forward in year two. I think the biggest thing and to get us over that hump now is we got to start winning some of these close games. It's not just good enough and we, we shouldn't be satisfied with being in games now. It's now winning those games. Well, Wilson and Fort don't kick off their seasons until next week, but we do have some local games getting started this coming Friday. Here are the three nominees for our first end zone game of the week of the season. Vote early and often on the end zone page of WHSV.com. We will unveil our first winner on Wednesday.